Good morning, everybody. Welcome to your Tuesday video. No question for today that I can think of, but from the title of uh, this story, it seems like it's going to be an interesting one to talk about by itself. So, without further ado, let's start off your morning with Moses and the glory of the Lord. Moses said to the Lord, we switched it up. It's always God said to Moses, but now Moses said to the Lord, you have been telling me, lead these people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. You have said, I know you by name and you have found favor with me. If you are pleased with me, teach me your way so I may know you and continue to find favor with you. Remember that this nation is your people. The Lord replied, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Then Moses said to him, if your presence does not go with us, do not send us up from here. How will anyone know that you are pleased with me and with your people unless you go with us? What else will distinguish me and your people from all the other people on the face of the earth? And the Lord said to Moses, I will do the very thing you have asked because I am pleased with you and I know you by name. Then Moses said, Now show me your glory. And the Lord said, I will cause all my goodness to pass in front of you and I will proclaim my name, the Lord, in your presence. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. But, he said, you cannot see my face, for no one may see me and live. Then the Lord said, there is a place near me where you may stand on a rock. When my glory passes by, I will put you in a cleft in the rock and cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will remove my hand and you will see my back, but my face must not be seen. So, I, this kind of answers the question I had in the last video with the tent of meeting i guess that when moses goes in to meet face to face with god it's not actually face to face as we find out here so it's maybe you know god dims himself down and <laughs> not full power when he speaks to moses in the tent but here um we see that uh moses asks to know god better so that he may um what was it uh, continue to find favor with him. Um, and, uh, I don't know. It seems like I, I had a thought about all these times where, uh, it seems like people correct God or remind him of something. And I had a thought of like, maybe it's just the test. And if I said this in a previous video, I'm sorry. I forget sometimes if I've already said something. Um, but it just, it really seems to me like it could be a test to see if, you know, if God actually gives us intentionally something that, you know, if we say one thing, he would be okay with it. And it's not always just here, do what I say, this is it. Um, sometimes he might want us to, you know, test us to do what's right by presenting a wrong option or something like that. I might not be explaining it correctly, but I don't know, I just thought about that while I was reading this one, and it kind of makes sense for some of the other instances where it says, you know, God remembered or something to that effect. Um, but yeah, so he causes his goodness to pass in front of Moses, um, and he will, like, proclaim that he is Lord in his presence. Um, and then he says, you know, he gets to choose who he has mercy and compassion on. But then verse 20 no one may see his face and live, so he doesn't permit Moses to see his face. Then he sends him to a rock, and when his glory passes by, he will put him in a cleft in the rock. Let's see what. Oh, okay. So a narrow opening in the rock. I'm sorry if everybody knew that. I had to look it up. I wasn't sure what a cleft in the rock means. Um, uh, and cover you with my hand until I have passed by. So he's putting him in a little opening of a rock, puts his hand over, and then when he pat like when God then he passes by, so and so then Moses will be able to see what he looks like from the back, but not from the front. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's just, it's so intense. I mean, you can't think of like actually being able to see God. You, you know, you just, nobody has at least in thousands of years been able to see him face to face, at least not that we know of. 
and you know for Moses to actually ask to be able to see him and God's like okay I'll let you see my back but not my front because no one can see what God looks like and live um yeah so let me know what you guys think about this one it's definitely a very interesting story here towards the uh the later part of exodus um and we will get into uh chapter 34 tomorrow and yeah we only have a few more chapters in exodus before we hit the next book so all right hope you guys have a great tuesday um and i don't think anything special has happened for me tomorrow just class and uh, getting some more work done. So, yeah, all right. I will see you guys tomorrow morning for another video.